I keep getting comments like, don't compare Samsung with Techno, they're not on the same level, but I'm still going to do it anyway. Welcome to my Techno Common 20 Premier vs Samsung Galaxy A54 comparison video. This is going to be a good one because both smartphones are around the same price. Granted, the Techno Common 20 Premier is a little bit more expensive, but you get more storage. Now check this out. On the box of the Techno Common 20 Premier, you get free data that you can use to download your favorite apps from the Google Play Store. And on the box of the Samsung Galaxy A54, you get nothing. Back to the box of the Techno Common 20 Premier, it comes with a premium TP case, a USB Type-C cable, earphones, and a 45W fast charger. The unboxing experience on the Samsung Galaxy A54 is not exciting. All you get are manuals that you don't need and read and a USB Type-C to Type-C cable. With the A54, you still need to buy a charger and a case and yes, you need a case with this smartphone because the rear is made from glass and if this happens, the glass will break. Adding the cost of a 25 watts fast charger and a TPU case, the A54 is going to be more expensive than the Techno Common 20 Premier. For the build quality, the Common 20 Premier rear is made from magic skin leather. Moving to the front, A54 recovers here as the display is protected with Cunning Gorilla Glass 5, while the Common 20 Premier doesn't have that and I already have scratches on my display. For the IP rating, A54 is an IP67 dust and water resistant smartphone. It can survive being dipped in 1 meter of water for up to half an hour. While the the Common 20 Premier is an IP53 dust and splash resistant smartphone. It can only withstand water splashes from all directions, so don't drop the smartphone inside water. It might not survive. Now, taking a look at the external features of both smartphones, they are evenly matched. They both have dual microphones and dual SIM card trays. The A54 tray is a hybrid one and it can take one SIM card and a memory card or two SIM cards. Both smartphones have dual stereo speakers and after listening to both of them, I would say the A54 is a tiny bit clearer than the Techno Common 20 Premier. Just a tiny bit. Mic test 1212. So I'm testing out the microphone of both smartphones. Which one sounds good? The Samsung Galaxy A54 or the Techno Common 20 Premier? On the display, they both have an optical fingerprint scanner that is accurate. And when the screen is on, the Techno Common 20 Premier unlocks faster. But when the screen is off, A54 unlocks faster. So that's an interesting one. It's time to talk about the huge bezels on the Samsung Galaxy A54. I mean, it's so large that you can pack a Toyota Corolla on it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now, everybody keeps complaining about the large bezels, but I personally don't mind it. Compared to the bezel of the Techno Common 20 Premier, there's no denying it, the bezels on the A54 are thick. With the Common 20 Premier, you get a larger display at 6.67 inches, while the display of the A54 is smaller at 6.4 inches. Both displays are AMOLED panels with a full HD Plus resolution. For the refresh rate, both are the same at 120Hz, but when it comes to touch sampling rate, which measures how responsive the display is to touch, the Techno Common 20 Premier is higher at 360Hz against the 240Hz on the A54. Gamers would love that. Both displays support HDR content, they are sharp, vivid, and contrasty. So for the display department, I was going to say it's a tie, but when you go outdoors, you would notice that the display on the Samsung Galaxy A54 is brighter. It can go as bright as 1000 nits, while the Techno Common 20 Premier with high brightness mode on, I got a reading of around 767 nits. Now in my review of the Techno Common 20 Premier, I said it has the fastest processor for mid-range smartphones in my country, and at the time of making this video, it's still undefeated. It's powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 850 chipset, a 6 nanometer processor, while the Samsung Galaxy A54 comes with the Exynos 1380 chipset, a 5 nanometer processor. Now, the lower the nanometer, the more power efficient the processor is. But when it comes to speed, the Common 20 Premier is fast. How fast? Well, according to Antutu Benchmark, it's faster than the Exynos 1380 chipset. Same thing with Geekbench and any other synthetic benchmark application you're going to run. For gaming, it's the same story. The processor and GPU on the Techno Common 20 Premier is superior. It ran PUBG at better graphic settings. It played Call of Duty and Genshin Impact better. Multitasking on both smartphones are great. They both come with 8GB of RAM. For the operating system, both smartphones are running Android 13. For software updates, the Techno Common 20 Premier would be one of the first smartphones to get Android 14. The A54 would also get Android 14 and more as Samsung has promised 3 years of OS update for their A series. For bloatwares aka pre-installed applications, you get them on both smartphones. Luckily, you can uninstall them. Moving to the camera department, both smartphones have a 32 megapixel selfie camera and when you're indoors where there's inadequate light, the image produced by both of them are kind of soft. 
Now in total darkness, the Techno Common 20 Premiere has a front-facing flash LED light while the Samsung Galaxy A54 uses the display as its light source. Looking at both pictures, I prefer the picture captured by the Techno Camon 20 Premiere. Now in this picture, I was facing a window, my skin tone on the Techno Camon 20 Premiere looks a bit reddish while the A54 looks more balanced. Moving outdoors, both smartphones take good looking pictures but the A54 looks more natural with less processing. Camon 20 Premiere on the other hand has changed my skin tone a bit. For portrait shots, the A54 does a better job of separating the subject from the background. Also the skin tone looks better on the A54 and it looks more natural. Tricky pictures that have a bright highlight like the one I have here, the Techno Camon 20 Premiere does a better job than the A54. For this picture, it looks like the Techno Camon 20 Premiere is still struggling with skin tones but when it gets it right, the picture it captures look better and sharper like in this situation. What's up guys, so here's a front facing camera test between these two smartphones, the Techno Camon 20 Premiere and the Samsung Galaxy A54. Uh, both smartphones have a 50 megapixel selfie camera, however, the Samsung Galaxy A54 can shoot in 4K 30fps, while the Techno Camon 20 Premiere can only shoot in 2K 30fps. So which one sounds better, which one looks better? From the display, I'm loving the skin tone and how natural the Samsung Galaxy A54 looks like. But I would have to go to my system and check it out for myself. Now, let me know which one you'll pick in the comment section below. Now let's test out which front facing camera has the better video stabilization. So let's jog. So which one looks more stable? Samsung A54 or the Techno Camon 20 Premiere? Now moving to the rear cameras, both smartphones have a 50 megapixel main camera. The Techno Camon 20 Premiere has a 108 megapixel ultra wide camera, while the A54 comes with a puny 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. There is a 2 megapixel depth camera on the Premiere and a 5 megapixel macro camera on the A54. Pictures captured by the main camera looks good. I mean, for this picture, you can hardly tell them apart. Looking at the pictures of my dog, the Techno Camon 20 Premiere looks more vibrant to me. I mean, just check out the flowers at the back. You can see how vibrant they are. For night photos where there is no light, the A54 sees better and generally takes better night photos. Now moving to pictures of humans, at first glance the Techno Camon 20 Premiere looks better but when you zoom in, you will notice it doesn't show as much details as the A54. For portrait shots, I prefer the look of the Techno Camon 20 Premiere. It brightens up my face while the A54 keeps things natural and shows my real skin tone. Setting the portrait mode to their most aggressive settings, I like the way both of them look. Now moving to the ultra wide camera, the A54 is doing a better job with the dynamic range and it looks like the Camon prefers a warm tone while the look on the A54 is cool. Now when you zoom in, I'm not seeing more details on the 108 megapixel ultra wide camera. It looks on par with the 12 megapixel sensor on the A54. For pictures of flowers, they both look good. The ultra wide camera on both smartphones are good. You can see a bit more details with the Techno Camon 20 Premiere but I expected more because it has a 108 megapixel ultra wide camera. For macro shots, the A54 takes better macro pictures and it shows more details. It's a hot sunny day here in Lagos, Nigeria. Welcome to my comparison. I'm using the red camera of the Techno Camon 20 Premiere and the red camera of the Samsung Galaxy A54. Both smartphones are shooting in 4K 30fps. Which one looks better? Which one is handling dynamic things better? Let me know which one sounds better as well. And which one would you pick? Let me know in the comment section below. Are you team Samsung or are you team uh, techno let me know in the comment section below now this one is an interesting one the techno camon 20 premiere has a 108 megapixel ultra wide camera while the samsung galaxy a54 has a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera which one looks good which one is handling dynamic range well which one would you prefer which one sounds good as well let me know in the comment section below 108 megapixel ultra wide camera versus 12 megapixel ultra wide camera if you're going to choose which one would you choose let me know in the comment section below. Let's pick up the pace, let's jog and see which one is more stable. So, which one is more stable? Let me know in the comment section below. Now the battery on both smartphones is good. They both come with a 5000 mAh battery and they should last the entire day if you're a light or medium user. 
The Technocamon 20 Premier comes with a 45 watts fast charger and it charges from 0 to 100% in 1 hour 30 minutes. For the A54, the charging capacity is 25 watts and using a 25 watt Samsung charger, it charged from 0 to 100% in 1 hour 20 minutes, which is impressive considering that it uses a 25 watts fast charger and the Techno uses a 45 watts fast charger. Now, in conclusion, you will be happy with any of these two smartphones. Gamers would prefer the Techno Camon 20 Premier, while photographers and videographers will prefer the Samsung Galaxy A54. But what about you guys? Which one would you prefer and why? Let me know in the comment section below. If you want to know more about the Techno Camon 20 Premier, you can click on this video right here. Valor Reviews, signing out.